Scoot more. Are you going to be in the camera? Yes, Mike. Scoot more. Ba I'm like in the center of the camera. Babe, well then the camera's not in the center of the bed. Scoot more. Thank you. Well, spin it around this way so we can see it. I know, but the, the mic is plugged in, so I just... Watch, we're gonna do this whole thing, and you're not even gonna be in the Oh video. my gosh, just trust me that I am. All right, hi guys. Um, today's pillow talk is about... A mic. Shantaya. <laughs> Today's pillow talk. Do you have a topic? No. Like I never do. He never does. He just is like, feed me. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to think. Well, you said you wanted to have a pillow talk today, so I figured that you had the content already. But you never have a, to you never have a topic. I do. Someone gave us a topic on Instagram. They, yes. I mean, on, on YouTube. Look it up to see who it was. Um, but I remember the question. The question was, what do we want our legacy to be as a couple? But um, you're going to look at who and said it. And that was by... I hope I'm saying her name right. Bertrine C. Yes. What do you yeah. want your legacy to be as a couple? Okay. So go ahead and you answer that. Uh, what do I want our legacy to be as a couple? You know, we've been doing social media, um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook for, well, <laughs> she's been doing it way up longer than I have. But um, since I've been doing it, I felt like we as black people needed a... Um, we, 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 we need more marriages, we need more families, um, and in a positive image. So my initial reason for starting all that stuff was so I could bring some, uh, just some, some hope to our culture, hope to, uh, hope to marriages, and um, give a positive vibe because it's unfortunate that we lack that in our, in our culture. Um, and once I started to do some posting, and saw how effective it was and saw how many people were actually like mm -hmm. sending me messages and saying thank you for posting what you posted today um expressing your feelings uh putting your family on display in a, in a good way putting your family on dis on display in a positive light um i saw that it was being effective and i was like you know what maybe this is what my calling is i mean as wow. as individuals we always try to figure out what our calling is here um, on earth. So I figured after receiving so much love, uh, so much encouragement for doing that and people encouraging me to continue to do that, I felt like social media was the way to go. And I think I've been able to encourage some other people and people have also encouraged me by sending those messages to me and all that kind of stuff. So I really appreciate that. Wow. You went way deeper than I was ever going to go. So I feel like <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> No, you can still answer. Oh, man. Yeah, what do you want your legacy to be? Well, I was just thinking about a legacy as a couple, like, in the world, not necessarily on social media. Well, um, I mean, it, it's still in the world. Yeah, but I was more thinking about, like, our immediate family. Um, and I think what I would hope our legacy would be um, is... Well, one thing that we're really intentional about doing is neither one of our parents are still married. Um, and so we're hoping to really break that generational curse to have... Um, you know, our kids and grandkids come back to their 50th wedding anniversary, our 50th wedding anniversary, um, and you know, plus more would be so phenomenal. Um, I think that we're really trying to build upon the lessons that our parents taught us about integrity and wealth and, um, you know, things to do and not to do in building wealth and, um, just how to be a good human and a loving human. So I think... For me, that's outside of social media. I don't really, again, for me, social media is an ends to justify means. Um, it's, I, I don't mind connecting with people, obviously, but um, it's very much a platform for me to really be wholeheartedly involved in my family. Um, and so for me, that's where my legacy really lies. This is um, just one segment, but I don't think that I think of social media as part of my legacy if that makes sense. Um, I think of more of my children and what they'll say and and um, how they will repeat things I say or do and, and will those things be good or bad. Um, the, those things really stick with me. I hate gotcha. when I hear them yelling at each other and I can hear the same tone that I yell at them. 
or me when they yell at each other like that just uh it just breaks my heart so um but when they're really sweet to each other and i know that they're repeating things that i've said it also fills me up so um those are the things that i really think about when i think about the legacy that i'm gotcha. leaving gotcha gotcha so. well i guess i felt like that was something like that goes unsaid mm -hmm. that i want that for our family yeah but with the way, especially the way the world is right now. Yeah, um, I think that's important that we, um, as individuals, as couples um, that are trying to make a positive change in not only our family, but in our community and our world, um, that's the reason why I bought up social media. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's funny that you listed every single platform. You were like <laughs> on Facebook, MySpace, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube. <laughs> what I tell you, I'm my biggest hater. <laughs> I love her though. <laughs> I was like, wow, go through the list. Um, cool. All right, let's do a lighter question. Um, do you have one in mind? <laughs> That's going to be a running joke also, that you never have anything in mind. <laughs> you can tell that I'm the brains behind this operation. He's the, he's the brawn, the muscles. You can't be the brains and the muscles, Mike. I'm surprised you didn't claim the muscle too. Well, I could have. I don't know about that. Olive oil. You see that? You see that little bump? <laughs> <laughs> little mosquito bite. All right. So the second question is, what do you think um, my favorite gift that you ever given me was? Hmm. Because I don't... Uh, because I don't get it often, I would say flowers. Are not. Oh, I was just listening. I was trying to listen with the calm face so okay. you don't yell at me about my... Um, let's see. <laughs> I don't see that thing around here. Oh, it's, it's in the closet. What is it? Um, our 10 year anniversary when I got you the, um, mm -hmm. the, the jewelry box. Mm -hmm. um, it was super dope. It was uh, cherry wood. You just pumped yourself oh, up. Oh my like, God. Well, I, I guess it wasn't since you pumped me down. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was a, a cherry wood. So one of the things that I researched when um, for a 10 year wedding anniversary was uh, the number one thing came up was wood. So um, I could have done anything like either built her like some type of sign that had wood on it. But I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to get her something uh, that would last for a long time, uh, something that she could put on display and something that will hold keepsakes. So uh, there's a jewelry box that's probably about this tall. It has some drawers, has a little door that she can open up. The cherry wood was really nice. And I figured that that, that, that would be a good gift for our 10-year nice. anniversary. Yeah. And you were... It was beautiful. With the roses. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you went all out. You yeah. went hard on the 10th year. And, so thank you. Yeah. And the, and, and the European trip. European trip? Yeah. All right. The trip to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, that was good. Um, I would say the favorite gift you ever gave me. That was a good one. I'm taking nothing from that. Um, probably, maybe not my favorite, but my most memorable is when we were very first dating. I think it was our very first Christmas. You bought me a striped sweater. Do you remember this? From like JCPenney or something. And you bought me some shoes to match the striped sweater. You might have even bought me pants. It was like a whole little outfit, like head to toe. Okay. And I just, it just felt like, like more symbolic, like... Not only am I going to take care of you, like, I'm going to love you, but I'm going to, like, take care of you, like, physically. I'm going to make sure that you have clothes. You know, like, it just felt like, oh, like, we're in this. Like, I just remember mm. feeling like this feels real permanent. Because most of the time when you buy someone a gift, it's, like, to dinner or at least, mm. I mean, in my own experience. Mm. But it was the first time someone actually, like, thought about, like, what size do I wear? Yeah. What would I look good in? Like, it all fit. Like, the shoes yeah. fit, the sweater fit, the little pants fit. Um, and I have trouble fitting myself. And so it just felt like you had put a lot of thought into that outfit. And it was one of my favorite outfits also. It was like a cute little style, something I wouldn't have bought for myself. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one of my favorite gifts. Mm -hmm. um, I would say another one of my most favorite gifts. You know, it's a memorable one too. It's probably not my favorite, but it, we laugh about it. Is remember when you bought me those earrings for my birth birthstone? Your, your, it was uh, earrings, uh, uh, um, a ring, and a, a necklace. A necklace. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had misplaced the earrings. <laughs> I didn't know where they were. 
And we were broke. We were very broke, living in this little tiny one bedroom apartment with a swamp cooler and eating like literally bologna sandwiches. Sandwiches. Not yeah. bologna, it was like ham, but that thick ham that you could almost peel off the corners, yeah. you know, before yeah. I was vegan. And so, and I used to get one slice of ham and Mike would get two slices of ham. And we'd have that for breakfast or lunch and dinner. Uh -huh. And we would have something for breakfast, something random, toast or something random. We I were so know. skinny. Yeah. Um, and so anyway, he bought that for me for eat for Christmas or my birthday, one of the two. It's they're very close. Your birthday. And I lost the earrings, so I had gone back because I knew you got them from JC JC Penney or Macy's for some uh -huh. reason. I don't know how, but probably because you didn't take the receipt out because you some yeah. guys don't forget <laughs> to yeah. take the receipt out. And so I went back and I bought the earrings for myself because I felt so bad that I lost them. No, she bought the whole set. No, no, no. no. I'm telling the story. I promise you, I bought the earrings. Okay. Um, but then. They used to hurt my ears. They would like poke me right here when I would lay on Mike's chest. Like we would watch TV and I would just lay on him. And so I, <laughs> I was wearing them and I took them off and I handed them to Mike to put them down because they were poking my ears. But you know how you put earrings together and you go snap, snap, and they're like one little bundle. And when I handed them to him, he put them down right, right next, next to the first pair. <laughs> Yeah. I'll and never I was forget like, your face. I'll never forget your face. <laughs> that was way nicer. That was way nicer than what you did that day. I was like, why do you have two sets? <laughs> and then the look on her face, she was like. <laughs> At first, she, she was about to lie first. She was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I showed her the two sets and she was like. She just bust up laughing. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I laughed. I was embarrassed. Yeah. That was bad. But it was one of those la one of those embarrassed laughs, yeah. like a nervous laugh. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was terrified. I was yeah. like, what is he about to say? <laughs> so anyway, all right. What's the your favorite gift I ever gave you? Um, probably the bike that's coming right now. Hmm. Yeah, because that's a. That's a nice bike. I've been riding the same bike for, um, and when I say bike, it's not like just like a regular bike. Um, I cycle, so you might see me out on the street, up in the hills and all that kind of stuff. Real fun stuff. Um, but I've been riding the same bike for uh, probably about eight years now. And yeah, I was like, maybe this is the time to go ahead and buy a new bike. So she told me that she was going to hook me up because I haven't got some some certain holidays I haven't uh, uh, got anything. Which ones? Christmas. Bologna. I didn't get you nothing for Christmas. No. Nothing at all. That's terrible. Yeah, look at her face. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, Christmas, uh, Father's Day, you didn't give me anything. Or no, 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 it was our anniversary, you didn't give me anything. That's possible. Yeah. Anniversary is possible. Yeah, so uh, those Because I was two... still working full time and I was just like swamped, like just overwhelmed, stressed. Yeah. That's possible. Yeah. Yeah. During COVID. And Father's Day too. Father's Day seems Cause unlikely. Because you, you got me something for, for Valentine's Day. But it like that was like a random. It's not a random holiday, yeah. but that was the one that I would expe expect least. You would expect from. Valentine's Day. I would have expected fa for like Father's Day for sure. I don't um, remember. Yeah, it's possible. So, so since I haven't gotten, any, so that's why I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I promise you, I, I wasn't, wasn't trying to put anything, her on blast. But now, in front of the whole universe of YouTube, that's when I bring it up to her. But I wasn't trying to put her on blast. All right. No, I. Just, she always puts me on blast, so... But you, it was your sentence of, I wasn't trying to put her on blast, and that was definitely putting me okay, on Okay, let's blast. move fast that. So, yeah. Oh, now he um, wants to um, So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the new bike that is, is on its way is, is, is not... It's worth, like, five Father's Days, if not more. Touche? Yes or no? But I said I was going to be putting... So, you are now? I told you that before. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because so, the bike is really expensive, you guys. It, it's not, like, crazy. Have you ever purchased anything that expensive for me? That expensive? Um. You got to think about this for a long time? Yeah. Was Europe even this expensive? Yeah. Was more? Or about the same? No, Europe was a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So. so, so but uh, so but, but, but days, even, even if I was putting... So two weeks in Europe... <laughs> As opposed to a lifetime with this bike. So that's, um, we're just trying to frame how expensive this bike is, you guys. Though we spent two weeks in Europe, airfare and hotel? Yeah. And one bike. Okay, all right, keep going. 
Thanks for putting me on blast. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's an expensive bike. That was an expensive trip. It was. And it was a wonderful trip. Yes. We had so much fun. We. Just like just like you guys saw in our other vlog when we were talking about trips. Yes. And the we. We. We enjoyed that trip. The sparkles. We. The sparkles on the What Eiffel sparkles Tower. do I get with this bike? You get to see my enjoyment <laughs> of when I come home from a ride and I'm like, babe, I just did another century. And then and I get to be home watching the kids. With no, because you're gonna be riding with me. Then who's watching our children? We have people. So then I gotta spend hey, another trip. Just to like Europe? we talked about the other day, like you wanna do things that maybe you don't want to do. Or you're gonna do things that you don't want <laughs> Why to do. Why you get all close to my face? Because I'm, I, I need to have it soak into this thing over here that we call the brain. <laughs> All right, but anyway, I did say I would get it for him. I'm giving him a hard time right now, but yeah. but he's gonna have to give me no more hard times about Father's Day and all the other gifts or all the other dates. Okay. Because I think we're even. Okay. <laughs> all right. But anyway. No. So uh, no. You know what? No, I take that back. So. My favorite gift is probably that first uh, that first night at that hotel that we had spent together uh, for my birthday that I talked about in one of our last vlogs because that was the time like you like I said you didn't have any money at that time and you did what you felt like you wanted to do to uh, make that birthday for me enjoyable so I think that was because it says a lot about uh, what you felt so early in our relationship mm -hmm. and it was that's not something that you do for somebody that's just like oh i'm just gonna hang out with this person yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean yeah so no i told you that that night we first kissed for the first time i called every guy that i was even like remotely seeing and literally <laughs> just said i can't talk to you anymore like <laughs> i literally called them and said i can't talk to you anymore and click i remember hearing them say well what are you doing click <laughs> like it was that was a wrap <sighs> had a wrap baby Right, on that <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 no, 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 we ain't doing the doo-doo-doo-doo right now. That was it. That, that was, was it? wrapping up, yes. Uh, See how he's so strong? No, like, but, but, uh, hey, let, 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 let's marinate in that moment, do, right? Do, 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 no, do. we're going to marinate in this moment do, right now. Do, do, do. Hey, because, listen, Call the, cops. the reason why we're going to marinate, be quiet, because I want them to hear me this time. You're hurting me. Let go, that leads no, a little. No, I'm not hurting. Yes, you I are. You I'm not well, then let go. Damn. Let go, well, Mike. Well, stop moving. You, please let go of me. <laughs> no, I'm going to start tickling Michael, you on you're camera. you're not. I will be so angry. Well, be quiet we'll and stop. Be quiet okay, and just stop. just let me breathe. No, you are breathing. Let me go. That's what the cops said. Trust me. You can say I can't breathe. And okay. All right. Well, well, all right. We're going to stay right here. Okay. Thank you. That's better. Dang, you made me forget what I was yes. going to say. Hold up, we gonna sit right here until I remember. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? I don't know what you were gonna say, Mike. Something about marinating. Dang it, Taya. See, you play too much. Dear, 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 dear. <laughs> Stop One hour later. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna stay right here just a second. I'll, I'll cut this part out. Okay. Well, can I at least get comfortable? Well, this yeah. Comfortable. Don't move. Just Thank stay you. here. Thank you. You hurt my back. It's abuse. Um, it's spousal abuse. I wonder if the thing ever... Did it keep recording? I don't know. I should get up and see. Yeah, you should get up and see. <laughs> what if it stopped and we no, did all the definite... Right. It is? Yeah. All right. We're at 20 minutes though, babe. Yeah, I'm going to cut it down. Right. Is this including the kids? No. Okay. Separate one. Um, dang it. So, we were talking about... You were marinating. Marinating about abuse. Holding me too tight. Not listening. Be quiet and Lack like, of be for real. I don't know what you're going to say. Well, what were we talking about? I just told you, marinating. Yeah. What were we talking about right before marinating? So now it's I my... I said I'm going to so let that... Uh, I, said, I said we need to let that marinate. I don't know, Michael. In your head. Um, dang, Taya. How's this my fault? All right, we were talking about how the first date, the kiss. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. So we gonna let that question, are we gonna let that statement marinate? Because remember, 
the how we met video and remember how she was like just looking past me when I was like like dreamy eyed and I was like oh my god she's beautiful that's gonna be my wife one day and she was like oh look at that football player past that guy that's staring at me with his heart <laughs> And you're so that first kiss had her whipped. Dun, dun, That's dun, why you dun, choked dun, me. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That was so not worth dun, the wait. Dun, dun. Tell me in the comments. You think that sentence is worth dun, the wait? Dun, dun. I'm so irritated dun, right now. Dun, 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 dun. You Come on, say it. No, I'm not. And you hurt my back. You owe me a massage. Because you hurt my back when you wouldn't let me go. Being too strong. I told hey, you you were the muscles. Hey, and I the, was the brain. Sing the song. No. See, you messing up our vibe. You messed you up me the vibe. You are messing you up a good thing. my third vertebrae. Like always. Dang it, Ted. All right, I'm going to stop doing it. Dun it, dun it, dun it.